You uh, plan to graduate college at 16 years old, is that right? I plan to graduate actually at 14 years oh, old okay. and then get my PhD at 16. That's amazing. NYU is so lucky to have you. Saborna, thank you so much for joining us. Saborna, congratulations. Just 12 years old, how does it feel to be graduating high school going off to college in August? It's absolutely insane. I can't even imagine this kind of feeling. When I was four or five, could have never imagined that I'd be here today in uh, seven or eight years. Uh, I've been trying to advance my education to the highest standard ever possible. I've been trying to reach new heights every day. And this is not where I want to stop, but it's certainly a landmark uh, where I want to sit down and say, I've really achieved something. So I'm really excited about my high school graduation and I can't see, wait to see what's in store for me in college. Okay, so this isn't where you want to stop. This is just a landmark, a goal that you wanted to hit. What is your ultimate goal? Have you figured that out yet? Yeah, of course. I've got everything figured out. I've got okay. that roadmap in front of me, you know, everything perfect. <laughs> I'm just kidding, obviously, but I think that uh, I think that even though this is a great place to uh, stop and think about uh, where I am right now, ultimately, I've always wanted to understand the universe and help everyone understand it in a more intuitive fashion. Right now, there are so many people being fed up with how hard science is mm -hmm. currently, and so they turn to these fake SAMs, like uh, the spooky quantum consciousness, in order to uh, make them feel better about themselves. So instead, I want to make understanding science understanding the meaning behind our world intuitive to everyone oh, well, and yeah the lord blessed you with an amazing brain and maybe one day you will be able to figure that out and answer all of our questions about the universe so this is usually a question that we ask the parents but i'll ask it for you uh when do you re remember when you were little you mentioned when you were, you were four years old do you remember the time when you realized that you were brighter than the average two-year-old four-year-old and that things just came a little easier for you well, I guess I wouldn't say that I'm smarter than your average 12 year old. Well, maybe in terms of math, but really I've just had parents that have access to lots of resources and math and physics, but more importantly, parents who love their children and who want them to succeed in the best way possible. Oh, and they're standing off to the side. You must be so proud of your son and they're, they're smiling and shaking their heads. So they are. Well, I talked to your mom and she said that when you were two years old, you memorized the periodic table. She taught you you, two plus two is four and you ask what n plus n is so <laughs> you are yeah. an amazing uh, child in math and physics you don't even think of that as studying right it's ju it's something that you love and it just comes easy to you yeah of course what I'm studying it's for language class it's for history class it's for civics class the things that I actually struggle with wow. you know and how old is your brother your brother's here as well uh, he's 21 and, and he, he's studying quantum physics it's wow it so runs in the family and you you go to Brown University is that right and you help each other with your homework uh, sort of. I think he helps me a little oh, bit. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. Okay, so um, you uh, plan to graduate college at 16 years old, is that right? I plan to graduate actually at 14 years oh, old okay. and then get my PhD at 16. That's amazing. So what do you like to do outside of math and physics? Uh, so, of course, uh, what I love doing is just uh, relaxing like any other 12-year-old would do. <laughs> uh, playing with my brother or just playing by myself. Uh, playing board games, chess, Scrabble, doesn't uh, really matter, working on my vegetable garden, you know, whatever I have to myself. And of course, sometimes you have to get lost in the rabbit holes that are, for example, social media or games, but I find that getting addicted to them only harms your positivity and your productivity. Uh, I've had myself fall into that hole once yeah, or twice. That's... So staying Staying active. focused, yeah, yeah, staying focused, staying active. And you really seem like a well-rounded, and well-balanced kid with, my goodness, such a bright future. Congratulations. NYU is so lucky to have you. Saborna, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks. Have, have a great day.